what is going on guys today i'm going to be doing a video of how to update your bios so to update your bios it's very straightforward so first of all let's go to your um, motherboard website so mine says SUS, the SUS Prime B450MK here so you can see the latest bios and that's the C2202 version so now I'm gonna click on download it uh, what do you need is um, it's actually you need a USB flash drive so yeah it's just a little USB flash drive like pretty much any size like one gig so it'll do just fine since the file is like 9 megabytes <laughs> so extract it your, to your USB extract it to your USB and um, press OK alright so now I'll see you in the BIOS okay guys so now I am on the BIOS so uh, really depends on your manufacturer when you boot up your device it might be F2, it might be Xscape, F12, whatever so yeah, it really depends on on your manufacturer mine, Asus, is um, F2 to so get to the BIOS so now let's go to advanced mode just for an Asus BIOS yeah, pretty much all BIOS is like very kind of similar in the way they do it for you to flash the BIOS my Asus is Asus Easy Flash 3 Utility and uh, here. So, so first, uh, so now let's. So now you're inside it and let's click on the latest version of BIOS. So before I have had a file for 2006, now it's I have the 2202. Now I'm gonna click on the 2202 and let's go. Uh, whoa. Okay, sure your PC might be frozen for a bit and then you click yes, yes and now it's, it might take, if it's your first time, could take up to like 5 to 10 minutes, really depending. Um, this is my like uh, second time flashing BIOS on this, this, so I'm not sure how long it would take, maybe like one minute I guess yeah I assume later I'll tell you the how long it takes for the bus to be finished so now I'm just um, gonna speed up the video Alright, the system will be reset and yep, it's starting to reset. Well, so restarting, the system is restarting and yeah, it's booting up. Okay, so this is what will happen after a BIOS update. So, is that, um, it's gonna be on the screen like this then that's very normal it's just like um, yeah there's nothing wrong with it so the setting has been reset the RAM speed before um, my RAM, RAM speed uh, I think it was 3200 megahertz actually actually I, I did um, set it to default so yeah so, so it's, everything was reset so, but now um, the setting that you need to do is uh, you need to turn back XMP, turn back uh, the XMP setting of your uh, machine and save and exit and press OK. Uh, 